Hi, uh, I'm, I'm uh, with the help of my friend Eric from Poland. We're going to demonstrate some ideas and principles about setting up your own internal body condition so that all motions are from the center and all motions are unified and all motions have great power. So, um, no matter what the, the arm or hand positions are, it doesn't make any difference. I want to first attend to my own condition. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that I'm standing up straight, not stretching, because that would tense the muscles, but I'm thinking up from the crown of the head, and inside, everything below that point, which is all of me, settles down, relaxes, just release, open. And then the third element of condition is to expand in all directions. But that doesn't mean I'm trying to, for instance, open my arms and expand like that. Because that would just mean that I'm pressing on the points of contact, which feeds pressure back into my joints, especially shoulder joint. And then you can use that point of pressure to rebalance me. So the third element of your condition, the expanding, is from inside. It's like a balloon everywhere in your body opening. And you see it already is affecting you. Now this is what we're calling creating the ball. That's all. But it's a ball that's alive from inside. It's filled up. It's not just slumping. So it's a ball that can creates a strong structure that can support force. Now the ball doesn't have to take a round shape, although it's easier to think of it and feel it that way. It could be any shape, even something like this. But when I create the ball, he pushes me. I move my center, and you can see the effect. And that's true for every example. So when I create that ball inside of me, and he touches me, and I move, see how it moves his center. It breaks his structure. It it uproots him. I'm effectively moving his center of gravity and his body has to follow. Then I can attack him. Okay. So, whether we're doing chi sao, it's not just, oh, what is my position of my arms and body, what's my angle, what's my technique, okay? It's regardless of the position, regardless of any particular way he or I might move, I need to first create that energy ball. Now when we roll, see, I'm affecting the structure. And he'll tell you, I'm not pressing him. If I'm using my muscles to push him, he can throw me away. So I'm just expanding and rolling and rolling. It gives me energy, I move with it, but I'm always that ball. And that's why his body's moving around. If I'm in, on top and I want to take him down, I'm not fighting his point of contact. I'm creating that ball, which is then connected to his spine by this expansion. And then I'm moving him, his spine. Ah. <laughs> and that's the effect it has. Um, maybe um, he's attacking me and I'm already that ball and I expand out, he goes back. Once I take his energy and move it, then I, sorry, then I can, then I can attack him, then I can attack him. When he does that to me, and he's the ball, you're the ball. Oh, okay. Good, and he uses his center or body as a whole to move. He shakes my spine. In that split second, he shocks me. Then he can attack me, and I can't respond because my brain shuts down in that split second. That, I'm shocked. I can't respond. That's how it has practical effect. So when he attacks me, I'm already the ball. I shock him, and I can hit him. That's, that's how you typically use it, one method. Um, so regardless, when you create that ball inside, if you want to call it that, every point in your body is a point of defense. So he can touch me anywhere he wants. If I'm already in that condition, then I move my center. 
See what it did to him? He can touch me anywhere. And I'm the ball, and I move. See what it did to him? He could touch anywhere on my arms, anywhere. And I'm the ball, and, okay. He could be attacking me, I'm already the ball, and I move, and it goes right through me. The important thing is, I'm not trying to move his arm so I can hit him. I'm trying to move his center of gravity, and then I can hit him. Thank you.